What's good, y'all? Y'all already know what time it is. Back to do another reaction with my guy, Duh, Duh, Cash Nasty. Um, real interesting video, y'all. It says things you didn't know about the NBA. Now, I like to say I got a lot of knowledge about the NBA. You watch all the time, bro. You watch I do, all the bro. I like, I'm very knowledgeable, bro. I feel like I know what I'm talking about. But I'm curious as to what they can tell me on something I don't know. Let's see, bro. What if I told you that women used to play in the NBA or that there's a four no point line that you never knew no. existed? Yeah, that, that, there's a lot of things that you didn't vibe know bit, yo. about she the had NBA. Horror story like, when she go back did to you the know WNBA. that there are jersey numbers that are so outrageous? They're banned from the NBA. Jersey yeah. Numbers? Back in 1999, Dennis Rodman was doing whatever he could to get attention. Wearing wedding and dresses, the, the wedding dress, makeup. bro. I mean, uh, but this is the exact same guy that come and, out uh, drunk. His attention seeking didn't stop with his look. Jeremy and, and, and giving you the twenty rebounds, the holiest of easy numbers, a number so respected, like so student. honored, yeah, so but prestigious. Yeah. Rodman decided on man. What are we doing? 69. You you coach just I mean, shopping. What you else see that you on, 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 the, on the walk by? I mean, Rodman was so set on that number that his only demand before signing rebounds. with the Mavericks <sighs> was to get the number sixty nine. One field goal and per if game. There's one team owner that I make sure Jordan get his ball. It's Mark Cuban. So keep, of course he said yes. Out of it. But it was man, one he got a lot of shit in the way. NBA commissioner whole... David Stern. When Dave heard about Rodman's new number, he was not mouth. having any of it. He put the <laughs> hammer down and banned Rodman from wearing it. And even though Rodman and Mark Cuban fought for it, <laughs> Stern hook, didn't have a funny bone in his body, so no one could change his mind. And with that, 69 went down as the only banned jersey number in NBA history. Now, uh, I, I said, of cut this, as Rodman tried to. <laughs> You know, Robin, bro. You ruined it, man. Come on, bro. <laughs> Did you know there used to be women in the NBA? Yeah. All the way back in 1977, the NBA draft wasn't the typical two rounds, 60 picks like we see today. It was seven rounds and 170 picks. So the door was open for way more people to get in. And that year, in the seventh round, the Jazz made history. With the 137th pick, Utah selected Lucia Harris. What? She became the first woman officially drafted and allowed into the NBA. And I mean, she deserved it. In college, Lucia put up 25.9 points and 14.5 rebounds per game. What the hell going on here, bro? What, 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 what are we missing? 25 points, 14. Point five. So that's there good. Was a reason she game. was picked ahead of 33 Why other guys. But right after she was drafted, things took a turn for the worst. When Lucia was called for training camp, she never showed up. This was the first woman to join the NBA. She was going to be a superstar. Like, this was the opportunity of a lifetime. So, superstar why did she it? just disappear? Well, it turns out Lucia was pregnant. And obviously, she can't be out there grabbing rebounds with a baby in her stomach. <laughs> so, just like that, Lucia's NBA career was over. But Damn. I think she could have still go to the women's league and still be good for, for 12, 15. That's crazy, though, bro. Man, who in the men's league, uh, though, it's I'm, not I'm all bad. There's actually though, no rule yeah, preventing no, women can't. from being a drafted. If a girl is good enough, the... she could make it. So only time will tell if we ever see something Athletes. like this again. But this moment almost never had a chance to happen. Because back in 1954, the NBA was almost canceled. Just think about how different the world would look without the NBA. I mean, I think I wouldn't even have a job. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll bring it back. Yeah. How the NBA almost got canceled. We got to take it back to 1950. See, that, like, in the 50s, the NBA the was tomorrow. completely different. You see teams pass the ball around the court without even bro. trying to score. Some possessions man, literally man. lasted 10 plus I minutes. Made a lead back then, and other man. players would Superstar. literally <laughs> sit on the ball just so the other team couldn't get Superstar. it. Superstar. Man, I'm putting up what? 30 a game. This Brooke was numbers. a time with no shot <laughs> clock. Defense. If a team was winning the, the game, rebound. there was no reason to shoot with no shot clock. If a team was winning the game, they there was no reason joke. to shoot. 
I mean, they're taking this game as between a, the Pistons and Lakers. You can't do that nowadays. That literally ended 19 to 18. Look the score. That's 37 total points in a 48 minute game. Travel. Think about that. That's <laughs> less than a point. <laughs> he took his time to travel and still airball. You think you think flight would be able to? Do yeah. <laughs> in a minute. Ridiculous. And because of it, well, the NBA's be viewership. A was plummeting. No, no, Things flight. got so Premier. bad, the NBA went from 18 teams all the way down to nine. If something wasn't done fast, the yeah, NBA man, the came here, man. was actually going to end. So, the heads of here. the NBA <laughs> sprung into action, wild going and to they all this. met up at uh, People start bowling out. Wow. Well, anyway, they needed to brainstorm. <laughs> Because wow. I mean, their job You got to go to one of these games. And after studying some analytics, yeah, they're they everywhere. <laughs> it turns out the yeah. NBA was dying because nobody the dropped the like dark to the cheese. Yeah, they're yeah, yeah, like lying out right. there. We got the power to save the NBA. You I'm like Batman. You, you already know what you got to do. So, what are you doing? <laughs> but looking deeper into the analytics, they also found that Look the this, more man. points a team scored, the more people wanted to watch. Huh. So then came the question, how These could the airlines. NBA force teams to score more? I don't know. Well, Where's if they introduced quality? something like a shot this clock, teams and white, would have no I, choice but to get rid of the ball. This, so that's exactly what they did. And the first game back with the new technology, the Rochester Royals beat the Boston Celtics 98 Rochester. to 95. Royals? Which, uh, was way better than a 37 point game. So the NBA knew they found their golden ticket to stay alive. But see, there's actually a change the NBA is considering right now. And this decision will change basketball forever. I'm talking about a four point line. Tell Over me the, the last mouth. few years, we've seen players like Steph Man, Curry, they gonna LeBron, make a four point Danny line, I'm telling Lillard, you, bro. And Trey Young taking deeper three point shots than any other player in history. That's amazing, though. But bro. why? Bro, man, you know how you far could just walk NBA up you yes. 10 already. feet closer. It hurts. It, it hurts. Get it easy. there. Well, it turns out teams have been practicing for a potential four point line. According to ESPN's Malika Andrews, the 76ers, Hawks, Nets, Bulls and Bucks. I'll talk about something right quick, man. You know the NBA ratings are down. Are they? Yeah, it is. Well, everything's kind of down, really. Bro. Football too. They add a four point line. Are the ratings gonna skyrocket? Yeah, because it's something new. I'm back watching. The first He's teams to implement a four-point line so into the practice yeah, facility. Kind of and each team stigma, has huh? this new line about five feet stigma. behind their three-point line. So I'm even though there's no official four-pointer in the yeah, NBA game, yeah, I teams mean, are preparing the players it's gonna be bad for us when they come. The parks. And it's going to be interesting <laughs> you know, see the impact you know, of something like this on the NBA. Now, a four-point line is definitely crazy. But something I've always wondered is... Why did the Washington Bullets change their name to the Wizards? Well, it all started with one tragic gunshot. Back in 1995, the Bullets were a team at the top of the NBA. They just come off a championship win. When all of a sudden, on November 4th, the Prime Minister of Israel, Yitzhak Rabin, was assassinated. Whoa. Now, I know what you're thinking. What the f does this have to do with the NBA? Well, Robin was a very close friend of the Bullets owner, Abe Pollen, and after he was assassinated, the Bullets name kept ringing in Abe's head. He couldn't get over the fact that his very own franchise was named after the thing that killed his best friend. So yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah, funeral, yeah, yeah. Pollen announced that the Washington Bullets yeah. needed a change, and he said, my friend was shot in the back by Bullets. The name is no longer appropriate for a sports team. So in 1997, the team decided to leave the decision up to the fans. The organization. How much money you gotta have to be considered assassination? You know, like you ever thought about that? What you mean? How much money? What? To you like, see how? Yeah, uh, like so. Let Let's just say, yeah, man, I don't, I don't want, I don't want to put myself in there. Let's say somebody by the name of oh uh, shit, control, right? He gets shot. He got murdered in broad daylight, but he was a certain amount of followers. A certain amount of money, people say, oh, he got assassinated. You feel me? I see your point. 
So what do we have to take for you to be assassinated and not be murdered? You feel me? For people to, to categorize that assassination. Hmm. Something to think about, huh? Yeah. <laughs> the petition opened up a 1-800 line to the community and allowed them to vote on five different options. And uh, if you ask me, these options suck. I mean, just think about this. Washington really could have become Probably the sea dogs, dragons, express, or stallions. People, 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 you know, people I, get die all every day, man. Man, you know this on the streets, man. That's pretty yeah. much that's what it is. It's a, exactly. I'm saying. So what's the difference? So you pay an assassin to to get, to do that to somebody, it would be an assassination. Yeah. I never yeah. really liked the name Wizards. But uh, now I see I that a rapper the other had to day pick in from. Texas. He got shot, man. And uh, peace more shit. Regardless, but the fans they said he got murdered. And the bullets became you No, know, but the then wit. I go back and I look at. Uh, you oh, know. You what's the difference between assassination and murder? Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. Like, you know? Murder's more emotion. Assassination is like, I'll give you this if you do this for me. Bro, that goes on the streets all the all time, though. What? Murder. Like, yeah. assassination. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah. That's why I say to murder somebody in cold blood. You just flashed out and bomb. Ah, oh, I see you talking about. Over a dice game or something. <laughs> okay, well, I'm saying that because, like, the rapper, when I read a report, they said he got murdered. But, you know, it's obviously my hired him. Hired him to have him, you know. Oh, you. <sighs> yeah. It, it's, it's a whole different subject but outside of yeah, camera, okay, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, but okay, okay. You want to know what's you even know? crazier than a we'll team changing their I think name. Wayne said a quote Everyone about that, in the NBA right now. Is shooting oh, free throws God. wrong just to Bruh. look cool? Like you remember making fun of a kid who shot like this? Yeah, shoots his free throws underhand. Here's the moment we've all been waiting for. I know he's talking like right this there. on the bench. All right, well, what Did if I really told you that's yes. literally the best way to right. shoot? What you don't believe me? Well, hey let's man, take things rock, back to the he, 1960s he's a make them things when Rick though, Barry bro. was doing the unthinkable. At the time, he was unlike yeah, nah, any nah, NBA you know, his player son in actually history. Oh. You no, know, he wasn't doing uh, like front flip dunks or shooting full court shots or anything crazy you see today. Instead, he was shooting his free throws like a granny. Yeah, Barry would hold the ball between his legs, wind up, and shoot underhanded. And there was a huge reason for it. At that time. Barry was the greatest free throw shooter in NBA history. What? What? Say something. Like, I, 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 I. Still ugly, Barry. <laughs> so, he went on to let the world know his secret formula. He's shooting, he's saying, from the like physics that, standpoint, he? it's a much better way to shoot. You have a little bit more margin for error than when you shoot overhanded. Basically, shooting his free throws like this took his wrist and elbows out of the equation. They weren't as involved to mess up the arc of the shot, leading I feel to him. his I feel ridiculous you. free throw percentage. But even though this dude was yeah, hitting his shots like crazy, he got clowned to hell. I mean, he was getting clowned so bad, yeah, other think. players were afraid to shoot granny style. Shaq himself even admitted, I told Rick Barry, I'd rather shoot 0% than shoot underhand. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. You did average zero percent. <laughs> what are you talking about? But anyways, uh, best players are about their egos getting the That's way. real. Damn. Uh, believe me, that's there's real. a ton of research on this. Because that thing is not pretty. literally man. proved I'm right. So you I don't know what to tell you. You think I'm screaming for you to go shoot these but free throws? Players they come aren't told like to shoot that? free throws shoot. a certain way. They can have whatever style they zero, want. Zero. But when it comes to what <laughs> jerseys players wear, my, my that's something throws. they're forced to do. Like, have you ever wondered why the home team always wears white? Well, when the NBA was first created, the games were being shown on TV. But there was no 4K Samsung flat screen TV of today. Oh, All the games were shown in black and white. So it became awesome. an unwritten that rule that one too. team needed got a lot to be a kill. solid color. The <laughs> other had to be yeah, white. Yeah, yeah. It, so it this became a permanent up. thing for decades. But that's not the only Adam, thing that's become NBA permanent Reels, bro, in the NBA. Still, Since the birth yeah. of the league, there's one thing that's always been a part of the game. Dirty plays. As long as you got people competing, someone's going to do whatever they can to get a win. Even if that means purposely kicking a player in the nuts. Or trying to injure a star player during a timeout. Huh, you want to hear more about that? 
Well, click on this video right here. These oh, are the. Man, he's nice with it, bro. Yeah. Hey, that's the end of video 50. Guys, I'm going to admit, there were a few things I did not know, bro. So, how, how soon do you think that four point line is coming? Man, I feel like in the next. I called it out two years ago. Honestly, bro, I, did. I, I think it was coming in the next five years. The next five? Next five. Yeah, bro. Dog, the NBA is becoming uninteresting, bro. Like, I'm not saying because LeBron James fan, you know what I mean? But ratings are down, bro. We you do know? already know who's going to win it. Yeah. I don't know, man. You know, I, should, I mean, didn't the Lakers beat them boys the other night, bro, without yeah. LeBron and AD? Right, the stars wasn't on the floor, right? Yeah, LeBron AD wasn't there. Man, Curry got ejected. Fighting with Schroeder, man. Because he was frustrated how bad them boys were getting dog. Is that a fact? Yeah. I hope I hope Brooklyn can do something with that team they got against them. I didn't know the Lakers was the ones that they was. I I hope Brooklyn got enough. You're right. Thank y'all for tuning in, man. That's a wrap. We out, man. Peace. <laughs>